Hello everyone. Welcome back to my new tutorial. I am Sandeep as a Blender guy. In this tutorial, I am going to explore all the lights available in the Blender. I am going to tell all the parameters in detail. So let's get started. So before explaining lights, I am going to simply create a, a demo file. It's just a plane with monkey model available in the Blender. I'm just selecting everything A and X for delete. I'm just creating a plane and adding a monkey, applying a smooth, and also giving the subdivision surface and increasing the viewport level as well. I'm adding subdivision because uh, most of the time we'll be seeing in the viewport itself. So this helps. The model to be smooth alt d for duplicate with instance so this is our basic setup and i'll be using cycles Let's all move this to collection. Now if I switch back to viewport shading, I can see some color value here. I don't require this color value since I'll be showing only the lights here. So I'm going to my world parameters and removing the strength to zero. So let's get started. I'm going to add lights and point light. I'm pressing dot in my numpad to zoom to light. So let's see the properties of light. Here, the color is all about the color of the light. So whichever the color you want your light to be. So you can change the color here. If I want my color to be some reddish. And the power is nothing but intensity of light the intensity of light here it is actually measured in power which is 10 watts the lights in the blender is measured in watts so watt megawatt terawatt and petawatts so if i increase this you can see here this is 100 watt and if i increase this you can see the watt and even if i increase more you can see the megawatt here this is just to show you all. Let's increase our intensity of the light, which is power. We can translate this light, the point light. We can use this as a bulb. And since it is affecting in 360, we, there is no use of rotating this light. And also you can't scale this light. The scaling of this light doesn't work only the translation wherever you want this light to be it's just about placing there and coming to the radius radius is about the scaling of this light so if i increase the radius the size of the light increases and also you need to observe the shadow the smaller the light the shadow is more sharper and if I increase the reduce you can see the shadow is getting blur so if your light is big in size and you if you don't want any let me switch off this and if you don't want your shadow to be sharper you can increase this radius So the smaller the light, the sharper the shadow and if, a, if your light is big in size, your shadow will be soft. So this is the radius and next coming to the max bounces, it's nothing about the noise it is generating. It only works if your radius is big. Generally this point light is used for bulb or candlelight this kind of scenario in our coming tutorials i'll be using all this light and i'll be creating 
a scene i think you all got it how the point light works let me create another light which is a sunlight here no matter where this light is in your scene file it doesn't affect anything it's only about your rotation or we can say the angle of the light so if i rotate you can see even the scaling doesn't work for the sunlight it's only about the rotation and coming to the parameters again we have the color so what color you want your sun to be and coming to the strength of the light which is nothing but the intensity of the light how strong your light should be and next coming to the angle angle is nothing but the blur of the shadow created by this light so if i increase this angle you can see the shadow is getting blur now this is when when you are doing a scenario like a evening and your shadows are lengthy with the default value your shadows will be sharper but in the real life scenario if your shadows are lengthy it will be gradually blur so to create this lengthy shadow blur this angle will help and again the samples of uh, light it is you'll understand this max bounces when i do interior lighting this is all about samples so don't worry uh, as of now so this is your sunlight i'm deleting this and let me create next light it is spotlight let me bring this yeah yeah now i'm increasing my power here to show you the intensity of the light and again you have a option for changing your color of your light and the intensity the power is nothing but the intensity of light and coming to the radius the radius and the beam shape let me tell you in detail i want just one monkey to be visible to elaborate this for the point light how the radius works it's just same for the spotlight as well if i increase this radius you can see the shadow is getting blur so if you want your spotlight shadow should be blur you will increase this radius and if you don't want this light to affect this shadow so if you switch on this shadow will be back and coming to the spot size if you want your spot size to be big you will increase the angle of the light it will be in the same position but the size of the spotlight will increase and if you want small you can decrease this and coming to the blend blend is nothing but the edge of this spotlight see if i increase it is going down to make this soft you need to increase the blend and for viewing in the viewport you can switch on this it's just a visual representation of the spotlight the blend is nothing but the edge of the light you want that to be uh, soft you need to increase the blend this is your spotlight and our next light is area light the light with the rectangle shape or you can say you will have many size as well square rectangle disk coming to the parameters of area light it has the color to change the color of this light again power which is the intensity of your light and if you want your light to be rectangle you can change it here and if you want your area light to be like a disk you can create disk coming to our square light 
the same fundamental will work for this the smaller the light the sharper the shadow let me show you if the light is small you can see the shadow is sharp if i increase this if i increase the size of this light you can see the shadow is now very soft so this is the reason why the area light is used if you want the light near to any object and if you want the shadow should be blur so this is the light but if your shadow is blur it will increase your render time so i'm decreasing the size of the light now if you don't want this light to cast the shadow you need you can switch off this uh, cast shadow so only it will read the scene file without creating any shadow so multiple importance let me show you what is multiple importance for that i am creating one shader for this and uh, removing the roughness so if i remove the multiple importance mm -hmm. you cannot see the light in the reflection so if you want your light in your reflection you need to switch on this multiple importance or if you don't want the light to be visible in your reflection you can just remove this multiple importance and coming to the portal i'll be showing in detail in my interior lighting so these are the important parameters of lights so let me assemble all the lights and quickly show you let me uh, tell you all again quickly this is sunlight the translation doesn't work even the scale it's only about the rotation of the light and the parameters of all the lights are almost same and coming to the spotlight you can translate this light you can rotate this light but scaling doesn't work If you want the size of the spot should be big you need to increase the spot size not by increasing the scale next is our point light only the translation works for this light coming to our area light translation works for this light even the rotation and coming to the scale even scale works but it will soft your shadow i hope you all like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please do like and subscribe the channel there is a series of videos coming i'm going to do interior lighting also in the interior lighting i'll be doing morning light scenario and night lighting scenario and i'll be doing exterior lighting product lighting also the character lighting as well see you all in my next video bye